Okay. A little bit of a different video today. And to be honest with you, if I'm leveling with you right off the bat in the first 10 seconds, I'm not even really sure why I'm making this video. I just kind of had an idea, threw this setup together, turned the camera on, and I just wanted to try to articulate the thoughts that were happening in here while I was driving around today um, on the way to the office. Unsure of what I was actually gonna shoot for today, the day that you're watching, because I'm always trying to plan videos, I'm trying to come up with ideas for you guys to watch for the for the following week, or try to get ahead. You try to you know get a get a couple videos in the can, in the chamber, so you're ahead of time. You're not always scrambling the same day because it's all over the place. You know, with with this job, sometimes I'm stacked, and sometimes I'm I'm trying to think about what would uh, what would my, what would my audience love to see today? What would they love to hear? Should it be a tutorial? Maybe a vlog? Maybe some inspiration. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll review some products. It's kind of uh, it's always up in the air. Sometimes it's definitive, and I'm like, yes, that, love that. And sometimes it's like, no, I would say, I don't know, I don't know what to do. It's a range. It's a wide range. So I've been thinking, like, why do I upload three times a week? Why have I been doing this three times a week? I have been seeing comments on Twitter and from friends, friends, fans alike. Peter, you're pumping out the content this year. You are just crushing that upload schedule, and I don't do it because I want to pump out as many videos as I can. I'm not putting out three videos a week because I just want to see how much I can create. I'm doing it for the discipline. Because without discipline in your life, I don't think you'll be as successful. It's the same reason we have schedules and calendars and things to remind us to, to be different places. Those things keep discipline you know, in check. If I don't upload three times a week, it's easier for me not to upload three times a week. If I'm not feeling like creating and I don't create something, it's very easy for me to continue not creating something versus if I'm creating, it's easier for me to continue creating. It keeps the mindset flowing, you see? If I'm thinking about a video and I decide to make something, like right now, wasn't sure about it, but I wanted to create something to continue, to maintain, to stay on the path of discipline for Thursday's upload, this is being created because I would rather be disciplined and make this and put it out there than decide I'm taking the day off because then when Monday rolls around, Maybe I don't have a good idea. And I take Monday off too to collect myself, collect my thoughts, to compile some better ideas because Wednesday we're really gonna, we're really gonna set it on fire. We're gonna crush Wednesday. We're gonna use Monday and Tuesday to, to plan that out. But no, you're not. Chances are you might just put that back again. That's what I do. So I stick to the discipline. I record whatever it is because I would rather be making than not making. Now, I've got some great stuff in the works. I've got some videos half finished. I've got lots of plans. I've got lots of fun things, but it's not always like that. Sometimes it's hard to make something. It's the same reason you see photographers doing the 365 challenge. Take a photo every day of the year for a year. It's so easy to come home from work. The light sucks. Your camera's almost dead. The house is a mess. And you think to yourself, I'm not doing that today. I'll just do it. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll post two tomorrow. That's the mindset I want to steer clear of. I would rather figure out how to get it done that day so tomorrow comes and I've completed something the day before. Tomorrow comes and I'm ready to go again. There are lots of videos on my channel that I hate. I I'll be the first to say, I don't make the best videos all the time. Sometimes there's some great videos. Sometimes there's videos that I'm just really proud of and they're personal projects. Sometimes they go viral. Sometimes they completely tank. Right? There's some on there that are just downright garbage and I'm not the most proud of them. Maybe I was at the time, but I'm proud that they're there. I'm proud that they were created in the first place because they kept me creating. This has kept me creating years before I showed up on YouTube. You see, I was making content like this 10 years ago. I just didn't have the eyeballs or the visibility, but it doesn't mean that I would never have it one day. Continuing being rigid with that could lead to success or more success than you already have. The very video that launched this channel, that launched this career, arguably, in this social space, was something that I made because I just wanted to make something. I didn't care who saw it, I didn't care where it went. I wanted to stick to my discipline, exercise my skill and love and passion for this craft and make something. I made eight camera hacks in 90 seconds. Now we're here, if you fast forward everything in between. But it's that discipline that I've stuck to, it's that discipline that's got me through a lot of just, I'll do it tomorrow's. You might be thinking like, well, I can't always deliver on a tutorial. Maybe that's what you do as well. 
Well, it doesn't have to be about always making something that you teach or showcasing your talents for others to learn. Sometimes you just gotta make something because you like it. I just did a video with Unbox Therapy taste testing coffee. That has nothing to do with photography or cinematography whatsoever, but I wanted to create it because I like creating. I like coffee, I like making videos with a friend, we made something together, we put it out into the world. Be it that nobody sees it, or tons of people see it, it's not about that, it's about staying consistent. I think creativity is so all over the place, and just the magnitude of creation, and online creation, and social media, and just everything, and all the noise that you see every day, and all the media you scroll past, and the things that you see online, it's, it's, it's in abundance. It's so easy to be discouraged, to compare. The way everything, the way the system, the way everything is set up, it makes it easy for you to say, I'll do it tomorrow. I don't need to do it. They've already done it. Wow, do it. Nah. It's easy. We're set up to make those decisions easily. Choose your discipline. Stick to those things and you'll find fulfillment and joy and the things that should come with creating, making something with your hands, making something with your voice, with your mind, with your camera, even if nobody sees it but you. I know it's kind of like a, this is a random rant, but it really helped me to kind of voice it out. It helped me to get verbal about it before I even made this video. Just saying these thoughts out loud, trying to figure out why do I post Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and why have I been sticking to that this year? And how is that different from last year when I would maybe post on a Monday and then maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Sundays, you know, that consistency wasn't there. And where the consistency works in a platform like YouTube, if you wanna be successful, you should be consistent or try everything you can be to be consistent so people know when it's coming. But ultimately that consistency helps me as a creator more. And that's just what I wanted to share with you today. Even if that helps one of you, maybe you relate to it, maybe you didn't think about it that way, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's the thing that's gonna get you up, out the door, snapping pics, which could be your eight camera hacks in 90 seconds, because I didn't know it was coming. And here we are.